quick introduction. I'm last only name. That's all. That's the introduction. Sure, welcome. Okay. Next. Thank you. Why am I asking name? I don't remember. Okay. So, uh, how many of you uh, have the password ending with one, two, three? Please raise your hand. It's an exercise. You don't have? Okay. And how many people do not have? Okay, thank you. So what does it mean? You really don't have or you have it? You say truth? Okay, thank you. So it's as, we, as it's being recorded. So I, huh? It's an exercise. It's an exercise. It's an exercise, it's mandatory. So as you say, why do I tell you? I think you have at the rate one, two, three. It looks like your physiological expressions are telling me that. <laughs> you know it, it's right. You have it the right one, two, three. Or that's one, four, three? Your student? Thank you for that. Yeah? At least you don't know which one right. Exactly. It's a combination. If, even if you say no or yes, you're still helping me. Right? You say no, I exclude one, two, three from my combinations. So what, what is this attack called as? It's not brutal. Well, it's brutal, but the concept is called as brute force attack, which is brutal. Agreed. Okay. And uh, what do you think about hacking? Many people say, okay, it's negative. Okay, uh, it's bad. Don't hack. Okay, he's a hacker. You look at him like as though he's a terrorist. Why is that? You like hacking? Someone who hates hacking here. No one. Everyone loves hacking. You like to be, you like to be victims. Why is that? Hacking is basically building something great. Right now, it's got a negative connotation. Okay, terrorists are. Uh, how do you see terrorists? terrorists. Are they bad? Intelligence so uh, bad. Hacking have its own intentions. So it is all about passing through. Okay. What intention do you have? It totally depends on that. Okay. Let's say okay, I uh, go to a bank website, okay, and I hack it. Do I need to be caught? Yeah. Why is that? I think you should be avoided because you had the you know potential to get through it. So what you, you deserve the match. Oh, I just said okay. You, uh, the door. Uh huh. Oh well, no. Then why do you do it? Oh, just for fun. Oh, it makes my blood like boil, aggression, and it's uh, more of. Now we we are not focusing on here. Why do they do it? Because there are many reasons, and we we know only few, and we don't get to know why did they do something, and we know that what we know is only how to stop it. That's all. No matter they can just hack it. We don't want to know the intention behind it. As ethical hackers, I don't believe in those. I don't believe this concept of ethical and unethical because psychologically your mind can shift to one. Today it can be ethical, tomorrow it can be unethical. Now again, even unethical hackers have ethics. Okay. So it's a culture. It's not that okay, ethics means okay, there are no defined rules. Maybe there is it, it, it will be there for organizations. But when you talk about the hacking community, there are ethics for everyone who are ethical hackers, who are unethical hackers. Now, let me ask you, what do you want to be? If you want to be in hacking, do you want to be ethical or unethical? Well, but how the world sees you? It does not matter. Exactly. So it doesn't matter, it need not matter. So today, you will hack, let's say, Manipal Hospitals Network. Well, it's already hacked, okay. <laughs> so, uh, it's actually, Oh, it's being recorded. Okay. Then I need to think about what words I need to use. So it's not actually hacked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the Indian sites can be hacked. 
there are Pakistani uh, folks, hackers, who hack Indian websites, and there's a group called as the Snakes. Uh, it's actually disturbing the re video recording because the way the kind of information I reveal is kind of a mafia thing. Okay, so I don't know if I need to reveal such information or not, but I still continue to do that. Okay. Disclaimer. Huh? All the incidents are purely coincidental. Ah, that's recorded. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, so it's. Until and unless they do this narcotic test on me, okay, I'm safe. So uh, hacking, what is this white hat? What is black hat? What is this uh, one more hat called as gray hat? What are these hats? Anyone from software testing here? Anyone is a tester? Okay, okay, I know the folks. Yeah. So what is the, what are these hats? Where did this concept come from? Anyone? Anyone who is enthusiastic about hacking? You know about white hat hack, black hat, black hat are so, unethical. So when you say a white hat, yeah. So if you look at the case of Julian Assange, yeah. So he is a white hat hacker. Yeah. Because everyone knows what he is doing. No, no, no. What I'm speaking about is, oh, white hats are good guys. Okay, security researchers you might call them as, or you can call them as security testers in an organization or penetration yeah. testers as well. But what I'm speaking about is how did this history, okay? So actually, it started in the old Western movie called as There Will Be Cowboys, White Hat, Black Hat. Black Hat are the bad guys, White Hat are the good guys. That's the concept. And then, when was the internet born for all of you? Internet born. Which year? 96. Huh? 96, 97. That was in India, I guess. 95? When was internet born in the world? Okay, tell me what is the Windows XP? Okay, Windows logo color. Okay, all four colors. Oh, you have been using Windows machines for so long. Anyone who can tell all the colors? I don't look at the mo <laughs> laptop. It's uh -huh. Oh, yeah. No, no, you tell it without looking at it. That's exercise. <laughs> you don't know? Why is that? Observation? Attention to details? No. Sherlock Holmes? Yeah. Uh, how attentive was he? But we, it's again on demand basis. Do we need it or not? Are you careful when you are walking? Are you careful? Are you, are you careful or not? Yeah. Or you don't know at all? Okay, let's say in your house. You're not careful? You are. Anything, okay, you are conscious, you are conscious about it, you are careful. How many times you hit your toes or your leg to this refrigerator head or door, then you say, ah, oh, have you? Then you weren't careful. Were you careful? Exactly, it depends on the context as well. Okay, what is security now? Security testing, we call it as. What is security? Uh, it's something of, uh, is this valuable to me, the mouse? Oh, who are you to speak on behalf of me is the question. I need to know, okay, this is, okay, let's say it's 250 rupees, okay, I know it, okay, it's not valuable to me. Okay, let's say, is this valuable to you? <laughs> Why is that? Oh, let's say it's yours. Okay. Is it valuable to you? Maybe. Okay, let's say it got stolen. Is it valuable? Will you, will you go and file a FIR? What is FIR? Anyone? Okay. Do you file it? No? Okay. Then. Okay, let's say CPU. <laughs> okay, let's say the CPU costed you around 10,000. Exactly. So, okay, let's say it, it costs 10,000, but the data you have is about 1 lakh there inside. Does it matter to you? No, but this information cannot go to others. Okay, do you really not store? Can you just go back and check your laptop? 
or your desktop, there is something hidden. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Gmail chat? Nothing? Sure. Facebook chat? Oh, you are not on Facebook. Then, uh, you need to attend this session. Looks like your laptop has a lot of data there. And that can. <laughs> okay. So, uh, anyone wants to earn, this is no slides there, okay? Don't keep looking at that. It's just to make you people, okay? There's something inside the laptop and people keep looking there, okay? Anyone wants to earn via hacking? Okay, there are tips. Go to zerodayinitiative.com, okay? And the highest paid bug was 80 lakh for one of the security bug, one bug, okay? So now, now that makes you feel, wow, this is good. But if I used to say, okay, just show some slides and say that, okay, authentication, define, definition of it, authorization, definition of it. People love demos. People love demonstration. If you just, looking at the dance is different from just hearing the song, right? It gives a different experience altogether. And again, the music also has a different importance. Now, I started hacking when I was 16. So I used to count, you want one rupee coin, two rupees coin, to go to the cyber, okay? For one hour, it was like 12 rupees, 15 rupees, way back in uh, 2000. So I used to go there, and people used to get scared there. Why is this guy coming? Because I used to uh, steal their data. What is that, dial-up connections? What was the speed of those modems? That 56 kbps, yeah. So I used to steal them using one software called IOPUS Password Recovery. Okay, this is a free tool, free software. Now it had actually, it was a trial license. Only first three characters would be shown. So what I used to do was, okay, if the, it's six characters or nine characters, I used to go there, drag that key icon there. It used to show me first three characters. Then I used to delete them, placing in the first position. Then I can get three. So it's a full version actually. Okay, so uh, then I can call it as a bug for their business, okay, because there is a commercial version of that, which costs around $20 or $30. So, zero day initiative, anyone can participate. How they work is, you find a bug in Facebook, then you report it to them, okay. No, now, Facebook, you need not report it to them because you can directly deal with Facebook, okay. They have a bug bounty programs. So what, it, what they do is, okay, you find a security vulnerability. Vulnerability, bug, everything for me is same. Security testing, penetration testing, hacking is same for me. You will hear different definitions from different people, but it remains same for me, okay? So they negotiate the pricing. So they negotiate the pricing, and then they ask you, okay, he is saying 10 lakh rupees, is, is it okay with you? Then you say, no, I need 15 lakhs. Okay. Then he goes back to the vendor and says, okay, 15 lakhs. Then he says, okay. Only when you both agree, then only the deal happens. Or else the information is not leaked anywhere. Okay. So that's about zerodayinitiative.com, where you can start off. What is shoulder surfing? Anyone knows about it? Shoulder surfing. Uh -huh. oh, no, only typing? A monitor, anything, whatever he's doing on the on the computer. Okay, uh, maybe you can do a shoulder surfing on his Sony Vio laptop. No, you're not doing, but you can do is what I'm telling. You can do it. What's the intention behind it? What's your typing speed? Anyone? Anyone who has 98 words per minute? Okay. Uh, can anyone type the password here on the laptop? Can you? Type password? Yeah, type the password. Now we are consciously thinking something which is not even a password. Or not maybe I take it as true. <laughs> <laughs> so, now there is a lot of information when a person speaks. The way, once you say your password, it's at the one, two, three. No. He says, he's just, no. It's actually yes. Okay, so when he does that, because it's a shocking news for him, okay? So keep, you need to observe a person carefully, how he reacts, how, how is his tone, 
it is not how is his or her tone or as it will be a kind of discrimination act. Okay. So, I keep going on near my laptop to just show you okay, that there are some demos while well, there are there is nothing actually. Okay. So, let us say people call you on credit card information right, they say I am calling from bank can you please confirm your date of birth, you are not on Facebook agreed that is why I call you. So, then you say it maybe now after attending this you are telling that could be one of the possibility yeah. Okay, anyone wants to know about how to increase their bank account, anyone wants to shop uh, products for 1000 rupees and make it like 10 rupees, want to buy some flowers for someone which cost 1000 rupees but you pay only 100, you want to do that? Not now, okay, not now maybe in future, yeah, only when you, yeah, got it. So, when were hackers born? You don't know the date of birth. I, I don't mean the date of birth. When were they born? When the when the internet came? There was the first algorithm called as ROT thirteen. The encryption. Okay, let me. All of you are engineers. Some are students. Who? How many are students? What is encryption? What is masking? What is hashing? All these are same. What is it? When you are pass, you are entering a password. You are on Twitter, LinkedIn. Okay, you are on Gmail. Yeah. So when you type your password on Gmail or anything, okay, you see those bullets, right? What is it? Is it encrypted? Oh, it's not. What is it? Uh, it's HTML. Oh, it could be encrypted. Not actually, it's not. I have you used Lotus Notes. Okay. It could be, but most of the application, web applications, you don't see them. Uh, it's just a. It's called as masking. That's all. Yeah. It's masked. Okay. The encryption starts from when your HTTP turns to HTTPS. Okay. How many people know about SSL? What is SSL? Secure. Secure. What is TLS? Transport layer security. A layer service. All these are same. And why different name? Or how do you test SSL? Can you hack SSL? Does it mean okay? It's totally secured. Uh, is Facebook secured? It's, no. it's, why is it? Uh, recently, my one of my friends' uh, account was hacked. Okay. Now, it's uh, security is about building the layers. It's not a foolproof solutions. If someone says okay, it's fully secured, then laugh at him or her. Okay, it's not at all. It's just building the layers and making it difficult for the hacker. Not like saying okay, hacker cannot hack it. Can hackers be hacked? Who said yeah? Why? Anyone who has a brain can be hacked. If humans are the weakest links. Okay. If there is a password in the computer, you can't go to the computer and say, okay, see, I'm killing your Windows 2000, it's Windows XP, it's like a sibling to it. Okay. So, it, it doesn't react, only humans react. They say, well, I'm, go I'm going to kill your family, I'm going to kill your girlfriend or boyfriend. Then they say, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll reveal. We are the weakest links, computers don't reveal them. So, you just have a gun point on someone and say okay reveal the password, they will reveal it. But terrorists do not do it, they are much smarter, they have this uh, cyanide right, just follow it. Okay, I just want to show you one of the demo, uh, note down this one in your brain or on a notepad not a problem. Tamper data, anyone heard about this? Tamper data, what did you do with it? What did you do? Any hack? And just like saying, oh, define amplifier, okay, it amplifies. Headers. <laughs> <laughs> what, any hack did you do or anything you changed? Why is it? It is online, okay, I am brave enough, courageous enough to speak in front of the camera, video recording. You can speak, because only he can hear your voice, not picture, he is not moving it that side. 
Did you hack anything? Did you change something? Yeah. What data did you change? And what happened next? Okay, so using tamper data, you can tamper with any form, web application forms. Okay, you can change. If there is a state drop down, talks about Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, these three states, you can add the fourth one as well in the database. Okay. If and only, I mean, the server side validation does not exist, that is all. How do you test for server side validation? JavaScript, a jQuery, JS Fiddle, and all these things. Only JavaScript, not anything else. Are you sure? Sure. That is the only way to do the client side validation. It's not only there are many. Okay. Uh, let us say, suppose, okay, max length, client side, the text field validation, I use a max length attribute. It is not a JavaScript. But yeah, agreed. Most of the client side validations are JavaScript using the jQuery or there are many knockout JS, a lot of many JavaScript frameworks. So, uh, so let's say there is a pro my profile information, okay? Or you have a shopper stop account or anything where you have the points, okay? You can change the points there. You can try to change the points from hundred to thousand or even ten thousand, but be careful that don't change your account from ten points to ten thousand points very quickly. First hundred, next hundred and fifty one next 230, 241, because people do not get to know okay, there is something fishy going on. You got to be intelligent when you set it. What is my password? 123. <laughs> so, I was talking about shoulder surfing, okay. Someone who has a typing speed very slow, now it is a relative word, I do not know. Can you please type your password? I oh, will give you something. I will just take this and type your password. No, it is not required. Just type your just password there. Just yeah. What is he thinking now? Whether you will see it or not. <laughs> is he typing the real one? Yeah. I hope the camera should be there, actually. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> because you can have this called as button cameras. You can stick here and just you can stand near anyone and see the password and later no matter how fast the person types you can still get the password and the person who types it very slowly like this to shift one two three okay you get to know very easily now atm you know about the heat maps anyone heat maps what are those why do we use them for Oh, what is the heat map? What are heat maps? Where did it start from? Uh, it actually shows you the uh, basically a map, you know, the pressure is more on that particular. Where did it start from? Now, where this concept came from? Any idea? It came from military, okay, in the borders. Because in the during night times, you see those through those heat maps, our human body emits the temperature, yes. right? So, you see, okay, red mark. And they do not hit, they do not shoot on anything which is red. Okay, and this green color as well, which means the lesser temperature than the red one. Okay, so you don't hit any object because even the rocks emit the temperature, some heat, because in the, during the daytime, so okay, there is sunlight, and then the temperature is high there. Okay, so you say a moving object which has this color hit that, and not four-legged animal again, only two-leg, which is human. Are we only the two-legged animal? No. But again, the shape matters there. Is it a human being or sometimes even the alien? You can hit an alien. Okay. Right. So, uh, now speaking about brute force, now there is no sequence. My presentations are always in different way, okay. Whatever comes here, I just speak out. At least so when uh, it is being recorded, I need to show something here. <laughs> so, what were we speaking about? Heat maps. So now, then they came into these uh, hackers who can hack the ATM machines. I mean, the password, your PIN number. Okay. Once you get out of the ATM, they go with the heat map goggles. Okay. Then they look into the pad, numpad. 
okay then they get to see the temperature the highest temperature is the last last one last entered number then they get the four combinations okay now how to solve this any idea they are still victims for this no no solving is done already now how we can stop such hackers What is that? Again, that is something the awareness you are speaking about. How to fix it from the technology is what I am speaking about. Heater. But still, there is a variance in the temperature. Okay, that guy, you, I mean, he will say, okay, the user experience is bad. <laughs> now, it is again awareness. Still, there is a temperature, it is a body, it is an object. Glass as well. What is this forensics speak about? You watch CID, Pradyuman, ACP Pradyuman. The forensics guy would be there, right? Okay, he says okay, fingerprints and all those things. Still there. I'll come there. Virtual keyboard. You are on level one. Okay. When you are on virtual keyboard, okay, there is a touch screen. Let's say. You type something and for the next customer, okay, it needs to actually scramble everything. Combinations need to change. In, instead of 1, it needs to be 9. Instead of 9, it needs to be 0. Then you solve it because where the heat is emitted, you see it as 1, but it is actually 9. Right? So that is one of the solution. Now, being hackers, do not think only about hacking, but also the countermeasures as well. How to solve them? Now, if you are hacker from Afghanistan or Israel, okay, you think about saying, no, I will just hack. But if you are in India, you are not paid high for hacking. You are paid high for showing the hack and also telling the solution. It is not just saying, okay, I hacked it. Now, because some developers do not know the fix for them. So, being a security tester, you also need to be a coder who will give the fix to the developer. Okay. So some organizations have it. Okay, if you go to Microsoft, they have something called a SDET, which is their testers as well, their developers as well. Not sure how well they test. Okay. Uh, it was wrong password. One, two, three. It was wrong. Actually, what's the length of your password? Anyone who has less than ten, you have less than ten. Okay, thank you. That's your name, Rohit. Just give me your email address. Okay, I search on Facebook and because I know it's less than ten. Your Facebook account has less than ten. There are some digits in it. Yes. <laughs> and the digits are in the end. Yes. Accurate. Anyone who has in the starting, let's do a survey. <laughs> now everyone is uh, saying, okay, no, it's not a survey actually. What is this machine? What I'm using? What does it do? What's the difference? It's, good it's not a gaming interface. It's a powerful machine. Any high-end graphics card? Okay, you use it for gaming. Now this is called as GPU. It's a graphical processing unit rather than the CPU. So anyone, uh, I think you might have seen Die Hard 4 movie. Yes. That guy in the basement has something. A lot of computers. The fat guy. At the end, okay, he has a lot of computers that they are called as GPUs. This computer, okay, running okay, 4 GB of RAM, it will take around let us say 2 months to crack a password, okay. The GPUs take it one day, that is all. Now the, so, if you are saying, okay, we want to be a great hacker, then some tips for hackers machines are powerful where you can extend to 16 GB of RAM, okay have some servers as well okay and then even 64 gb of ram is good this kind of, this is like 16 gb of ram okay. and other things is don't have antivirus in your systems why do you have antivirus people say mac doesn't have a virus well it has it's just that people are no one mac right there is one guy okay in my office so okay, he keeps always saying windows sucks man i explored one day and said maxx.com but it's more of a love so what i'm telling is even mac is good 
this is good it is a individual's perception that is all it is about because I can say okay some people say that windows is for techies mac is for only people who just play them songs it is not but he keeps telling me all that and I get offended and I say maxx.com go to that. So uh, anyone from marketing here marketing no one. How many of you use Mozilla Firefox? I mean, consistently? Yeah. You use Tamper Data in which version of Firefox? Tamper Data. Special version. You customize it or they give it customized? Okay. How did you customize? Okay. But why did you customize? Why did you customize it? For what? Okay. So if you want to uh, install the different add ons, web browser add ons. Use 3.6.x, okay, so subversioning. So all of the add-ons till 2012 work on it, okay. So if you try to install tamper data on some of the versions, it doesn't work. So how do you install multiple versions of Firefox? Anyone? Anyone has tried installing? Did you? Uh, exactly. So how do you choose it? Either in C. No. How do you the installation installer doesn't give that option. Installer gives that option to choose some other location there? No? It does. Exactly. So many people just click next, next, next. Okay. So we don't actually see there's a custom version, custom radio button where you need to change the location. And because of this, someone saw a business opportunity and they said, okay, I'll use a plugin. And people use plugin rather than because in choosing that custom radio button. Because Again, it's thinking about how people use the systems. Now I can call it as a user experience bug there. Because people are not getting to know. By default, we are shown, choose the location, then we click next. In Gmail, Gtalk, or any other standalone desktop applications, we keep clicking on next. And then we, they say, okay, choose a path. But here, he doesn't show that. We need to click, do an extra click, and then do it. Okay. So that's a... Different profiles you can have. It's better to have a different profiles of Mozilla Firefox. I don't know. Internet is not working here. Can anyone help me? Show the demo. Or if anyone's laptop is working, I can show the demo. It's working. It's working. Not for me. <laughs> that's how the developer says it works on my machine. It doesn't work on testers' machine. Anyone knows about this in Firefox? About colon about? Anyone has tried this any time in life? You have tried? Okay. For what did you try it? Okay. This gives a lot of information here. Okay. Even in Chrome also you have about. If you want to know uh, from the time of installation how many times you used Google Chrome, you can use about colon about. So that can talk about your behavior, analytics. Okay. How do I use the system? Mozilla Firefox, why am I using less compared to Google Chrome? So these analytics would be used again by you to develop the add-ons, plugins. Google Chrome extensions? Anyone? Anyone a developer of add-ons here? Firefox add-ons or Google Chrome extensions? It's third party. Anyone can do it. Okay, there's a tutorials as well for that. So uh, let's say the health report. Okay, just I don't know. It's not working. The internet. It's working. Sure. You have a keylogger installed there. What is keylogger? Anyone? You log the keys that you type. Can it be installed in CFI way? It says secured. It does say secured, 
but you see CIFI highway, I installed a keylogger in CIFI highway once and I got the, all the accounts credentials of people, then I did not recharge my account, I started using the, I use 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, so that they do not get doubt, okay, they do not complain. So I used to use, uh, you know about adwares, what are adwares, what are malwares, what is virus, what is trojan? Anyone? Virus is just like a biological virus, right? It keeps spreading, it keeps multiplying, okay? The Troy movie, anyone? The Troy, okay? In that movie, there will be a big wooden horse. So they see it as a horse, but, but inside that there will be soldiers. The same way, the Trojan, okay? What you do is, okay, send a malicious file. But it showcases itself as a good guy and gets inside the computer and then it starts stealing the content and keeps sending it to the hacker if you have the internet connection. Now talking about the keylogger, there is a hardware keylogger as well. People who feel that, okay, Kaspersky antivirus stops all the keyloggers. No, it does not. What about key, hardware keylogger? Your software does not scan the hardware. They do not have that capability as of now, but they can scan the hardware as well. So this does not have this way. It's not at the end. It's in the session because it's hard to remember some questions. I'll show you something. You know what is dumpster diving? Dumpster diving. You know it? Exactly. You dig up the garbage. Anyone have you looked into the dustbin or trash can of your office or anything anywhere? You get a lot of information there. Your credit, the person's credit card information would be there. Whenever you get the through a post or something, okay, you see the pin, and it says, "Please tear it, destroy it." Do like this, small pieces, and you throw it. But they can be still organized in a way to get the pin number as well, all right? What to do with those things? <laughs> Go to beach in your Mangalore and then throw it there. What do you do? Shred it. Shred it. What kind of shredders do you use in your office? To work? You have shredders. There are horizontal, there are vertical, there are cross shredders as well. Cross. Use cross? Can't they be retrieved? They can be retrieved, it's just difficult, that's all. It makes it difficult. Anything can be retrieved. If you, see, if you are seeing in some movie, okay, they, he burns those, it's some movie, he burns the uh, paper and he gets all burnt pieces and he still gets the text. Yeah? <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you believe it is the question. Have you tested it enough? Did you question it? Yeah, there is a, there is a technology. No, there is a technology, I have seen it. Now, you do not question, you think it is a movie, okay, let us leave it, you get biased. Now, I think that you can be my, the victim of my attacks. <laughs> you are on Facebook? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's. Yeah, this is the website, Zero Day Initiative, where you need to give your driving license, everything here, okay? So, if you do something, then you get caught. Now, let us say in India, you get hacked for, you get uh, jailed for helping someone. Because people in the laws do not understand what are the cyber laws. They see, if you say, I hacked it, the hack word itself is a negative for people. They think, okay, it is or oh, something, okay, catch him. They are not, most of them might not be well educated in the cyber police because they do not understand what intention you do, do it with. So, if someone asks me, okay, I hacked, let us say, some hospital's network, okay, I got to know all the credit card information, I know what disease the person had, which is illegal actually to be shown because any electronic records you are not supposed to anyone.
that comes under the patient health PHI compliance, patient health information. Even on papers, okay, we are not supposed to reveal them. So let's say okay, I hack into it and police, the cops come and they catch me. Then I, what do you say to defend yourself, anyone? You, you hacked, you logged in, you saw all the data, then you logged out. But the cops came looking into server logs and all those things and they knock at your doorstep and then they say, please come in. It's actually which means get out of your house. So what do you do to defend yourself? Anyone? Uh -huh. You want the victim. You are the victim. Somebody else is not the victim. Oh, show me. Show it to me. Evidence. Cops ask for evidence. Eyewitness. What do you do? Okay, you can just defend yourself saying, okay, I just said your door is open. I did not seal the gold. It's as simple as that. You did not seal the data. You are not supposed to copy any content on your local machine. That's all. You can defend that, but our cops do not understand that. Okay, they will say, okay, you hacked, please get in, okay. So if you are a hacker and you are in India, be careful before hacking, okay, you get caught easily and then it can go to any extent if the, the product owner has some politician backup, okay, then it's a different case, okay, you will be scared. But somehow if you have a backup of the community, that guy has a politician backup, you have the community backup and they can fight for you. But just don't go directly and say, okay, I hacked into it. And something called as a responsible disclosure and irresponsible disclosure in ethical hacking, where you re disclose the information once a bug is fixed. The Facebook guy got 8 lakh of rupees, 8 lakhs, right, the recent uh, vulnerability. How did he get it? He reported it to Facebook. Then they verified it and then they said, okay, yeah, fine. Those are called as bug bounty programs. Another is bugcrowd.com, B-U-G-C-R-O-W-D. -B -U -G -C -R -O -W -D. Yes. Uh, there also you can participate, the bug bounties, okay. And there are many bug bounties, okay. And please follow me on Twitter, you will find many. Okay, that's one more follower. <laughs> so, zero day initiative is one more. Now, what do you want to know about? Let me ask you. I stop here, let's see. What do you want to know? Anything? Okay, let's say I'll give you an exercise, okay? You know the key loggers. Now, I want you to hack, I want you to get all the data which is in Australia, your enemy, okay? So I want to know his browsing behavior. How do you do it? What is the attack? He's connected via internet. What's your attack? What's your strategy? Okay, let me continue then. Okay. So my strategy would be okay, I'll take a key logger, okay, then send it to him. And then I'll rename the key logger to something different. Let's say MS Word, crack version. Okay, people love cracks, especially here, okay. Not sure about, first I learn about him if he loves cracks, okay. Because if he is a guy of anti-piracy or something, okay, then he, I, I wouldn't have been saying that, okay, cracked version. So it goes there, he installs it, okay. Or choose something, Adobe products. If he's a Photoshop guy, send, rename it as Adobe Photoshop and send it to him. Because he's provoked. He feels that, okay, I need to install this, I need to download this. So then he installs that, and then the antivirus says, no, it's something was malicious was found and it deletes. Now what's the next step? You failed. You failed at step one. What is the next one? How do you bypass the antivirus? You program the virus, okay, whatever, your malicious file in such a way that it goes and disables the antivirus and then installs this, okay. First disables all the services, from your machine and then it says, okay, install this. Once it gets installed, I have already entered the email address in the exe file, my email address. 
okay my email address exists in the system uh, that key logger now how did i get my email address in the key logger and build the exe file he installs it it's a new one you know about software binders software binders go to your windows run and type i express i express it's a wizard where you can bind one software over the other okay let's say you had a key logger you have ms word first file that you chose is key logger and then say bind ms word with the key logger which means it will install ms word and in stealth mode it also installs your key logger as well in the system but the user doesn't get to know it so once he does that okay he keeps typing all the key strokes are log and then you are send that log file to you with a smtp emailer you find a lot of free smtps on the web okay that's one let's say you hack something okay i'm picking on you what or not <laughs> let's say you the boss yes you hack something okay and i say i'll give you 10000 rupees today what do you do you you want to disclose it to the whole public saying okay i found the bug or you want to say take 10000 get 10000 or what is it what do you choose or why is that that's beautiful because 10 10000 is nothing for you okay but be, becoming a celebrity is more for you because you want to showcase to the public that i found it right so that takes a priority over this let's say i give you 1 crore practical i got the answer <laughs> so that's why i said okay today i'm ethical tomorrow i might be unethical to you but to me okay my priority was different that's all so today i say okay i will not uh, no man someone says okay i'll pay you 1000 rupees oh it's okay let's take this bug okay tomorrow someone says one crore i say okay i better give one crore i will not reveal it to anything all right so psychologically we shift from one thing to the other and it's not bad we are humans but there are laws and then they can catch you but you can be a smart hacker as well okay you shouldn't be leaving any traces when you walk out of the application the server logs some people say proxies they use proxies any proxy softwares use tor tor is a software now i can speak about something related to this tor okay let's say there is a us website okay and your customer is from us and there is a personalization web personalization where a Canad canadian guy uh, is shown with a winter clothing section on the home page and a indian with a summer okay now how do you test this you say okay get me uh, i need to travel to canada and you work as you work ceo says no we don't have so much of money so the simple thing is okay you can use tor t o r okay and then say you can perform okay you can use a different countries okay am i browsing from israel iraq and can uh, anyone port iphone okay to you okay iPhone to Android, has anyone done that? Android, installing Android operating system on iPhone. I've heard about this. There is a news. There is a Iraq guy who did this. He ported Android over iPhone because he used to hate iPhone. <laughs> Now you see how different things can make you skilled as well. Okay, your aggression, your hate, right, can turn into skill as well sometimes. okay but again hatred can be bias as well because you don't like to learn on mac some day okay someone gives you mac and even if you know where to click your brain is telling as i hate this you are not able to see that okay so how love for all the computers and gadgets that's what i say i i am not a windows fan i'm fan of computers that's what i say okay uh, because that helps me to learn things anything else because i can go on and on and someone will, you are waiting to you belong to the organizing committee no right okay <laughs> any questions 
my two days, two days workshop itself, the first day is about mindset, the second day is about demos, the third day is again about demos. Well, there was two days, three days. Anyone who wants to attend the workshops, it is free. Okay, we can uh, have the workshop, a full day workshop, it is completely free. What do you need to pay is only the food, that is all for the food. Pay from your own pocket, that is all. Write to me, I will just give. At the rate Santosh, ST is my Twitter. S A N T H, do not follow T O. Okay. S A N T O is different guy. S A N T H O S H. S T, that is my Twitter. If you want me, Santosh Tupas, T U W P A D. S A N T H O S H space T U W P A D. My blog is tupwpad.com and if you want to get into the hacking, okay, then the banglurhackers.com and then if you want to get the news, consistent news, there is softwaretestingnews.com which is security testing category there and then for the tools section, if you want to download a lot of tools, securitytube.net just like YouTube, okay. Anyone knows about OASP? OASP, Open Web Application Security Project. There are top 10 security tests there. Okay, that's it's a great information there. OWASP.com. And then uh, follow Kevin Mitnick. Who is Kevin Mitnick? Anyone? <laughs> Who is Ankit Fadia? I don't want to say something in front of the camera. But I still say, okay, I feel that, okay, no, hold on, just cut it. He is a toolsmith, how I see. I haven't seen more. To me, how it looks as of now is he's a toolsmith. He shows you 100 tools. Okay, then he says, okay, with this you can do this, with this you can do this. But something, you have a knife, but you don't know how to use it. That's what people need to know. That comes from brain, the mindset and the skill set. What you see there is only a tool set, not the mindset mixing with the tools, okay. And he is involved with FBI people say, I do not know. Okay. And you know how FBI tortures? That is not again in movies, they are real. <laughs> they actually torture you very badly. Okay. That was a great thing when he coughed. <laughs> it actually related to that. Anyone, anything? And uh, from, we have a monthly meetups, One, okay, just look at banglurehackers.com after two weeks, you now website is being designed, okay. You see a discussion forum which we are purging it out fully, completely, it's, it will be going. Then uh, banglurehackers.com, you go there, okay, it's free meetups, every month we meet and we discuss on, we get the laptops, we hack, we get onto the open Wi-Fi's. Cut it. <laughs> yeah. Ten more minutes. Let's just speak. We people have a lot of questions when it comes to the job. Okay, we start saying, what do you think about the scope of security testing in India? What do you think? Okay, mobile is booming, web application is booming, or which industries? Very hell, okay, it's even this uh, Dairy industry also booms, booming. Yeah. The Torino guy sits in Madurai, okay. You know Madurai in Tamil Nadu? Yes. He was sitting in the Sangam bar, okay. So he was just sitting there and bloody hell that guy makes 7 crore of turnover in one year and for Torino even now. Now Torino is a very old drink, right? It's still sold in Tamil Nadu, some regions. And he makes 7 crore there. Well, that's also booming. Mobile, it is also booming and we always say, okay, how, how much is the package there? <laughs> Why do we need package? If you are good at something, okay, you will get more package, simple. The more, for me, the great package is how I feel about the work, that is all. It is just like I keep saying this, even in, with 10 rupees in my pocket, I walk like a king, even with 10,000, I walk like a king still. It is with the heart, you follow the heart, that is all. 
you must be, your parents must be saying, become this, become that. A developer, many people don't want to become testers. Why is that? Well, other people are saying, okay, you got to execute the test case document, step one, step two, step three. Not required. You show them something about exploratory testing approach, which is a new one, which has been in research for 20 years, but no one has picked it up because it requires skill set and mindset. And people crib about the test case document, but they still continue to do that because they are not skilled enough to do other things. This is the truth, I guess. If I ask that, okay, the manager says, okay, you are executing the test cases. He says, okay, it's boring. What else can you do is the question. Cribbing with, when I have something, that's fine. Or when I don't have something, why do I need to bother? I say, okay, continue doing that because it gets, we bill our customers very well for that. 100 test cases, we bill it like dollars. Yeah, you know, what's the billing in gaming industry? Gaming industry is booming, actually. Uh, $80 per hour. You know, security testing building or some of the consultants that, do, that they do, in India they charge very less, which is $16. From US, okay, they charge $200 US dollars per hour, not day. It's one lakh. It's one lakh per day. It's booming. Everything is booming. But we have this culture of always speaking. Uh, you know, Macha, you know this, okay, this development, okay, the mobile apps, some per people, some person says, okay, 2D games, some person says 3D games. Where is the market? Market is everywhere if you see it. There is no one who needs to come and say, okay, here is the market. You see 2003 Gartner chart and show all of that thing. You create the market for you, so simple. Now, this is deviating from the hacking topic, but I still... My talks are about philosophies, life, and all the security testing, everything, all crap. Okay, well, that's how it is. So, any questions? Why is this? Anyone interested about it, or they don't want to know about it? No, no, not about anything about you. It's a good thing. Okay, I'm asking others because they always the hacking, exploratory testing. Anyone wants to know? Okay, here, here we don't, okay, I'll tell you, I don't want to say the definition. Yeah, we'll take it offline. Yeah, we'll take it offline. Okay, sure. Anything else? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi hacking. Yeah, WPA2. W? Uh, AirCrack NG? Yeah, AirCrack NG is not from WPA2, but whatever to the Have you worked on AirCrack NG any time before? Have you hacked it? Yeah, okay. Uh, river, with river, WPA2, it becomes very difficult. Yeah, it does become difficult. <laughs> Yeah, like it takes a lot of time and then in the end. I have a GPUs. Okay, the so thing is, okay, having the GPUs because we don't see any captures for all this Wi Fi passwords or anything. And some people always said, if you get to this BSNL networks, there is a default password. These guys come and set from the BSNL office. Sometimes they say 1234567890. Admin, okay. admin, admin. Why don't they give password? for ad username and admin for username. Okay, when you brute force the password, it's called a brute force attack? Yeah. What about if I brute force the username? What is it called as? And I keep the password static. Your intention is to keep the password same and get access to anyone out of million users, that's all. The password brute force becomes important when you know who is the person. Here you don't want the person. Any account you're okay with. So you keep the password static and keep brute forcing the username. It's called a shotgun style attack. Shotgun. The counter strike guys might be shotgun. So uh, one of the things that happened in when I was in people know about me? <laughs> Hold on. My introduction. No one knows about me? No one? You know about me. Oh you Google? Oh, she was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> okay, then you're an exception. Okay. Anyone else? I don't say that I'm your friend, man. Okay, hold on. Then I people will think, okay, no, no. Yeah, for, thank you. So, what is it? Anyone knows? No one tried to go, do a Google search? 
what if I just show the slides? No one show the slide. Okay. No, no, no. What if I had just showed some slides and you said I wanted to attend just looking at the content? It was f fantastic. Okay, I'm a bloody hacker. Okay, and all cool things. Okay, that's okay. I can tell it now. So, uh, I uh, graduated in 2008 and I always used to be in cyber. I, the books used to, always I used, used to buy hard, okay. And that's how I passed VTU all this engineering because I had a great memory power, okay. I have, uh, I was about to get a year backup, I mean backup, not backup, back. <laughs> then I got saved by my girlfriend and then uh, I failed. Yes, I have failed in exams and then once I graduated, I worked in IBM tech support. I knew the first day I got in, I, want, I knew that I am going to leave IBM after one month. Okay. It was for pocket money. Okay. I got the pocket money, then I said bye. Then I went to some other company, then worked there, left it before, within seven days or something. Okay. Then I enrolled for a course in CDAC. You know CDAC? I left there because my girlfriend left and it was boring, okay. Then after leaving there, I went to uh, Edista Testing Institute, okay, where they coach on testing, okay. Once I went there, I went there because my girlfriend went there, okay. So then I, after going there, I met Pradeep Saundararajan, who is my coach, who is my guru, okay. Uh, a coach, then a colleague, and now a business partner. That's how it is. Okay. So he coached me, and uh, I'm a co-founder of uh, Mulya Software Testing Private Limited. We started in 2010, December 13th. So we are will be completing 13. Sorry, December 13th will be completing three years, and we are a team of around 80 now, 80, and then we are growing well. So we started. We are a garage startup when we started. Maybe I'll do a different talk in next bar camp about this, about my experience in starting this. Okay. Anything else? Free workshops I'll do. Anyone who is interested, you can come in as a group and say, okay, we will need a free workshop. Even the colleges as well. You can invite me for free. I don't take anything. Okay. But if it's a commercial project, I take money, that's all. Okay. Nothing against people who do it for money. It's just my choice, that's all. Anything else? Exploratory testing, I will take it off once we speak. And yeah, I was speaking about my college. People want to hear? Baswan Gudi, uh, South End Road. We were first in JP Nagar, we have like 600 square foot, and now we have 4,000 square foot. With all centralized AC, <laughs> and all the stuff. Before we just had a fan, table fan, and uh, we used to get the internet connection from. There was a second building, so we used to sit near the window, so we get the signal because there was still no uh, phone line connection for us. So my ba bank balance went to negative. Okay, so I worked for 3D PLM Software Solutions Limited for one year and got out of there without getting a relieving letter. And exp I said there is something I, that I have in me. You need not show it in the paper, is what I said. So I left, so I fired the company. Okay, company did not fire me. I fired the company and then I went. Then we started in, yeah, 2010. Then a lot of things happened. My ex, she is now ex-girlfriend. She broke up with me, okay. Then I took one month vacation. I went to Goa to just get out of it after six years of relationship. Went there, came back, had a lot of alcohol, had a lot of smoke, and then came back, then started to work, okay? But she came back again. <laughs> In 2011 it was, then she came back again. Pradeep was like, oh my God. 2012 again she broke, okay? <laughs> this was final bro breaking up, okay? She went and then Finally, Pradeep, uh, 
she is a student of Pradeep as well, my girlfriend, okay, we joined the course, right? So then he is, uh, she actually called Pradeep and said, okay, this guy is actually calling me again and again. Okay, now I have broken up with him. Okay, now what do I need to do next? First thing that he says him says to her is, kindly change all your passwords. <laughs> <laughs> and when I heard this from Pradeep, I was like, yes, good. Okay, I have made my identity. Okay. <laughs> so then, after in 2012, again I went for one month vacation. <laughs> Pradeep was like, is this his final one, right? <laughs> I was like, yeah, looks like that. Even if she comes back, I won't go. I said, okay. So that happened and it, it's actually, uh, everything happens for good. I did not take anything as a mistake, no repents, no regrets in my life. And I will not take it as well. Because if that wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have been here, that's all. Simple. So people uh, keep saying, okay, I did a mistake, I did a mistake, I did that. Not required. We wanted to do that. Whenever we wanted to do that, we don't want it. I don't want it to real, rely on others' opinions and do something else. So even today I do the same thing. No matter okay, about my life, even my parents or friends or anyone, they say, okay, I go with, with my own decision because I want to live my life, not their life. Simple. Uh, many people have some kind of things like, oh, they are your parents. Yes, it's my life as well. That's what I say. Nothing offensive to others. I'm speaking about my life, that's all. I have my, all the rights to speak about my life. And you can't say anything. It's a violation. So that's, there have been a lot of difficulties. I saw them as challenges instead of difficulties. And uh, I write uh, articles for uh, pen test magazine, which is about security testing. And I write articles under the QA expert column for Silicon India. I write article for Testing Circus magazine, which is on software testing. You just go and just Google for Santosh Tupad, you will see something great there. The auto suggestion, great auto suggestions, right? And no one in the industry, even James Bach, okay, who's an expert, who is a guru of Pradeep, he doesn't have an auto suggestion called as expert tester. I have that. I'm a man of marketing as well, branding as well, with the technical skills. Okay, I treat myself as a learner. I just say co-founder for the designation, that's all. So I'm just like, okay, another learner, whoever keeps learning. That's something, I have invested money on my learning, and I did whatever I wanted to do in my life. No matter it's personal life or professional life. That's it. That's bad. Any discussions? We can take it outside. The demos, you about. demos, okay. That's actually marketing, you know. You got to come to my workshop. If I show everything here, okay, then how will you follow me on uh, Twitter? How will you connect to me on LinkedIn, on Facebook, and all those things? On Facebook as well. There's nothing private there, okay, everything is public.